show. An interesting fidget from Catch Low is here. I'm going to go ahead and call this the bloom because none of these fidgets have been named before and Peter Bloom does it better than anybody out there. So we'll just call this the bloom. What we're going to do here is we're going to, can you see the shadow in that? Um, we're going to pop the disc up a little bit and we're going to push our hand to the center. I'll show you that directly on the camera. We're going to pop it up, push our hand to the center. You can see it kind of butterfly down. Once we've got it dropping appropriately, notice that there's no flick, no, no wrist, anything. It's up and push it over. And then once it's rotating, we just move our hand back, tilt our hand down a little bit, and pluck it up as it's falling. Super simple, it's elegant and it doesn't require any effort. As a matter of fact, it's kind of a lack of effort. The more you can stay out of the way of that disc and just let it roll over and make the grab, the better off you are. The wrist doesn't flick or twist or anything. It stays fairly frontal as the disc rotates over the knuckles around the hand. Here it is from another angle, and this is actually kind of a Pavel move or a backwards bloom, we could call it. Same thing, different grip. There you go. Good luck. If we catch it high, we can go there, which is pretty sweet. This really is kind of like magic. We're going to balance it up on our fingers right there, and then as it's balancing, we're going to tilt our thumb up and drop our hand down a little bit and make the catch. When we're doing this, we don't want to flip the Frisbee. Okay, we don't want to flip it or really get it cranking because then we're not going to be able to get our thumb behind it. Up there and balance, then turn your thumb. Here's a nice isolation of that balance. You can see that the disc kind of stops on top of the fingertips up there. That's the trick to the trick. One here we can see that I flicked it too hard because the disc is slamming into that area between my thumb and index finger. That's just a little too aggressive of a flick. It needs to balance more and not be flicked so hard. Here is super cool way to give someone a frisbee. How's that for looking cool? Most important fidget that we're going to work on, the one that is actually useful in terms of throwing, um, not just confidence builder or something to make you look cool, is this right here. And what we do is we pop a disc up with heavy Z's, lots of spin. And uh, rem remember, there is no flick, so we're going to stop our arm, let the disc continue up there. And I'll turn to the side so you can see just how much spin this has. It's just cranking. And then, as it's spinning, I'm going to reach up and just let it kind of spin in my hand. Just spin right there. Um, if any of you guys have played hacky sack, it's essentially a stall. I want my hand to get there before the disc starts to come down. I'm going to pop it up, chase it with my hand, embrace it in my palm, and then um, let it spin out. I can do some interesting things with that. Okay, I can do a little brush, try that again. All right, I can also do a lift, which is pretty sweet. But most importantly, this right here replicates exactly a backhand throw. And we have a tube that it stays in. It'll stay right in this little tube here, if I throw it appropriately. Right there, right there. It's a little off center, good. That tube extends away from us here as well. So we get practice on angle as well as distance. The angle shooting down that tube, and we have the distance or the height here. It's a huge drill, absolutely imperative. You should be doing this a thousand times a day. It allows you to get 50 to 100 uh, floater tosses without ever having to chase them down and pick them up. Great, great skill. Here it is in slow motion. Now, something that you want to look at is that the disc is thrown with 
heavy Z's. Heavy Z's is Frisbee lingo for lots of spin. And uh, that's really important. That's a goal also of this fidget. The next thing that I'd like you to take a look at, and this is for the, the holding in the palm of your hand. You want to chase as soon as you release that frisbee, you have to get your hand up there before the disc starts coming down. If the disc falls down too much, it'll clunk into your hands. And here we go with this little brush. And the brush, once it's spinning in your hand, if you start to drop your arm to the outside, you'll see that I can just kind of lay it down. As soon as it falls to a nice horizontal position, then you make the flick. And here's one more for you. Just let it fall and push it out. There you go.